Last night was one of the most uncomfortable nights we've ever had. We're Haley and Jake. We've driven our camper van all the way to Mexico's tropical Huasteca Potosina, a region filled with waterfalls and electric blue cenotes. Welcome back to part two of our time exploring Huasteca Potosina. We're on our way to our next waterfall, which is Cascada Tamu. You need a guide to enter this waterfall and it costs 1,600 pesos to hire the guide. Uh, we're following a tour bus so that we can group up with some people on the tour bus to make it a little bit cheaper for us. So it should be 200 pesos a person to go see the waterfall. So to go see the waterfall, you need a guide and there's a short little hike and then we're gonna take boats and paddle over to the waterfall. How are you doing? So we just paddled for about 20 minutes and it was quite tiring. The guide goes quite quickly and then we just reached a part of the river that had big rapids in it. So the guide let us get out and then walk along this trail here and then they're towing the boats past the rapids and then we're going to get back in and keep paddling to the waterfall. <laughs> That's so pretty. Wow. Ready? It was a bit of a journey to get here and a lot of work, but this is really pretty. This waterfall. And then the rapids. We need to be careful because this is actually the Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to know like that. Yeah. <laughs> It's really humid, so being able to jump in the water is so refreshing. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> The boat just stopped off at this stop along the way. We're not sure why, but it looks like there might be a waterfall and some cenotes. No one's swimming in the 
that snow day, so we're just gonna look at it. What a cool day. We, we had no idea what to expect when we came here. We weren't really expecting to be doing a kayak trip. We just wanted to see the waterfall. But this has been really, really fun. We did it. We made it back to the van. We had loads of fun on this excursion. It was a lot more paddling than what we were expecting. However, Jake brought up a really good point when we were paddling that there are so many boats out in the water and if they all had motors, we wouldn't have the beautiful clear water because of all the pollution. So paddling is a good thing. So we are very tired and very hungry, so we're gonna make some lunch and enjoy the beautiful views of the pasture out there, and then we'll mosey. I expect this on dirt back roads, I always expect some street. <laughs> Last night was one of the most uncomfortable nights we've ever had. It's been pretty hot so we came to this region to get up in the mountains, get to some waterfalls and cool off and we did that. And then we realized uh, last night that we actually came all the way out of the mountains and we're essentially at the Gulf of Mexico. So we didn't intend to do that. We uh, were checking our phone to see why it was so hot and humid here. And we realized with all the ups and downs, we are pretty much at sea level again. And we're pretty much at a low line plane that goes all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. So this was not really what we were trying to do. Last night, it was at about 8 o'clock last night, it was about 35 degrees Celsius and we checked our phones and because of the humidity, it felt like 45 degrees Celsius, which is just so uncomfortable. We were up all night making sure that Finley was kept cool. We made sure that he was sleeping on the floor surrounded by fans and then he's got a cooling bandana and then we were w wiping him down with ice cubes. Like, he was comfortable, we were not. We were, not. We were melting. It was awful. So we were up bright and early at 6 a.m. We're going to go check out a couple Pueblo Mexicos and then we are going to leave the area. It is just too hot right now to be here in our van. It is June and um, while we're making the best of it, it's probably time to leave. Let's go. Normally we don't let Finley sit up here, but we're letting him use the AC for a little bit while we drive through the town here.
into the Pueblo Magico of Gilitla and it is absolutely beautiful. We're winding through a tropical jungle cloud forest and there's views of the, all the buildings inside the trees. It is so pretty here. We're really excited to go explore this town. There was live music and people dancing and there's lots of stalls with crafts and whatnot. So really cool day for exploring. We are back in the van and are leaving Hilitla. We have had a blast exploring Hosteca Potusina. It is a little bit too hot for us right now. So I think we are going to leave it there and head into the mountains. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Subscribe to join us on our journey across Mexico and we'll see you next time in the Sierra Gorda Biosphere Reserve. <laughs>